This will do nicely. Welcome to Mike's Second Toy. Well, welcome to Mike. Welcome to Mike's Second Toys. Welcome to Mike's Second Toys Plus Movie Memorabilia YouTube channel. Oh my gosh. Those of you that know this channel know that I'm a Star Wars nut, okay? And I collect. I collect as much as possible. And I found out the other day that I have a particular Star Wars lightsaber that I have had for years and years. And someone mentioned to me that that particular one I should look after very carefully. It is now rare and cost a heck of a lot more money than when I first bought it many years ago. So I'm really chuffed. Then I was browsing on the internet, had a look at the old Disney store, and I saw this bad boy. This is the Disney store Darth Vader Legacy Lightsaber. Let's get this bad boy open, I am so excited. And don't worry, I will show you near the end of the video the other lightsaber, I've got more than one, the other lightsaber that someone said to me, um, is really now a serious collector's piece but we'll come back to that later on it has made its appearance on this channel when i did the uh, darth vader helmet unboxing i think or one of my um uh mandalorian unboxing videos of the child and all that but anyway it's all about this absolutely loving the packaging if you just move in in fact i tell you what it's brand spanking new so if you look here you will see that it's still got its uh plastic seal on there, so I'm just going to get that off. As you can see there, it's basically showing you the contents of the box. Now this outer sleeve is exactly that. It's an outer sleeve. It's almost like it's uh, some sort of collector's edition. Well, they're all collector's edition, but it's got a nice case beneath this. So first of all, can we just appreciate the design that's gone into the sleeve of this package? So you've got the Star Wars logo right there. But then look behind, look at all of this. I'm loving how they've done this. So as we move along this uh, outer packaging, it's showing you what's inside basically. So there's the hilt and here we have the blade. Ooh, and I'm super happy about this. They also include the clip and what looks like a very nice display stand. So you can display it standing up, as opposed to my Master Replicas one, which again I will show you uh, a little later. And then flipping it around, you've got more information on the back, an illustration of how the batteries go in, and it just goes on, and on, and on, and on, and on, and on, and on, until we get to the end. And then it has nice images of the lightsaber, on the side, on the top. Yeah, absolutely loving this. Come on, let's get this out. Now, like I said, this is just a sleeve. So I should be able to just, there you go. Oh, look at that. <laughs> wow. Just wow. Absolutely loving the package in here. Okay, so this, case as it were, it is still made out of cardboard but fairly tough uh, hard cardboard so maybe if it was made out of plastic or something it would or even guess what aluminium okay aluminium that would even be even more special but I suppose the price would just go through the roof but anyway let's get it open are we ready oh oh that's nice it's got a magnet yeah very nice anyway here we go people what? Not again. This happened a lot. When I tried to open Darth Vader's helmet, yeah, from Hasbro, the same thing happened. Some sort of force. Oh, please. We've done that already. Let's not do this again. Let's have a Oh my goodness. Stop it. Right, sorry about that. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> people, 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 look at that. <laughs> the force is messing around with me today. Come on, force, behave. 
Yeah. No! Okay, there we go. I think it's going to be okay now. Right. <laughs> the way that just closed on its own, anyone would think I was not worthy to wield such excellence. Ah. Anyway, people, look at the presentation on this. So as I mentioned before, there's your stand. There's the lightsaber itself, or if you want to get technical, the hilt. And over here, you have three more items. You have the instruction manual. Actually, five more items. There's three more sections for the stand. And then we have this clip. Very substantial looking. I thought it was going to be smaller than that. That's nice. I'd like to think that is to size. Now you're probably thinking, hold on, <laughs> where's the blade? Or is it an actual real life lightsaber? So you turn it on and the blade just appears. No, let me see. Um, <laughs> let me just go ahead and take out all the accessories. Right, so that's all the accessories out, including there's another little piece here for the stand. That's some sort of foam pad and it's sticky on one side. I wanted you to see me actually take <laughs> the lightsaber out. So you get my first reaction. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, 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 I can feel some sort of energy, some sort of force going up my arm. <laughs> this thing has some weight to it. That's probably why. Yeah, I thought it was going to be lighter than this. This is a quality piece. Can't wait to compare it to my Master Replicas one. Now, back to where is the blade? Well, I'd like to think it's under here. Ah, yes, there it is <laughs> in all its glory. Let's get it out. Lovely. Now, the first thing I want to do is get some batteries in here. Just have to unscrew the cap. Loving that everything is predominantly metal. So maybe it's already, ah, yes, very nice. Look, you have three batteries in there, uh, double A's, but I think they're there just so that you can test it. Ultimately, you want to put some decent batteries in here. These are those cheaper type batteries, just so you can test it. As you can see there, you've got your battery connection points down at the base and at the bottom there, you've got a triangle notch which ensures you can never put this battery pack in the wrong way. Now, before you can push the blade in, as you can see, there's absolutely nothing there that would suggest that the blade will connect to anything. Well, that's because that's a cap. You need to take that off first. Now there's no cap. <laughs> and there's your connection points there. It will only go in one way. Right now, all I need to do is to pop the blade in and you'll know you've got it right because there's some corresponding grooves there. As soon as you push it down, you should hear a confirmation sound effect. Listen. <laughs> now that has made some sort of indication that there is power, okay? But it's not finished just yet. You need to push it down even further and then turn it counterclockwise 90 degrees. Here we go. We're in. We are in, people. <laughs> oh, I feel immense power, <laughs> even though this is from the dark side. Um, let's just make sure it works. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> oh, I'm loving that. Let me just turn it off again. Reduce the lighting. Right, here we go. Oh, such a beautiful thing. Now, before I go any further, let me just uh, put this stand together quickly. It looks pretty simple. Earlier on, when I said you get an instruction manual, the instruction manual is not really an instruction manual. It's just really showing you how you put the blade in the hilt and that's it. It says nothing else about the clip or the stand or even how to turn this on. But if you don't know how to turn a lightsaber on, you are not worthy to wield it. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, don't know what came over me there. Right, so let's put the stand together. 
So I'm guessing this little disc right there, it's got a nice soft texture to it on one side and adhesive on the other. I'm guessing that will be stuck there so that the lightsaber sits nicely on there and doesn't slip. And then these pieces here, if you look on this piece, you can see there's a section for one of these to go on either side. And that will pretty much hold on to your lightsaber. There you go. And if you look at the base itself, you will see there's like a groove here where you will slide this in. Ah! I feel like a big kid. I'm so excited. This feels like some sort of royal ceremony. And you just sit this in like that. Oh, would you look at that? Oh, how beautiful is this? Oh, oh, oh. hold on. Okay, so here we are. Here it is in all its glory. There's my master replicas one. We'll get back to that in a moment. Oh, hang on. Lord Vader, I have your lightsaber ready. Impressive. Most impressive. Let's have a look at this closer. I'm not going to say much. I just want you to take in the beauty of this Disney Store Darth Vader Legacy lightsaber. It almost takes away the menace from it, calling it a Disney Store one. Ha! But hey-ho, that's business for you. They own it. But yeah, look at this. The quality. You can see right here is where you will... um attach the clip And here I'm just showing you the little ring or cap that goes on the base of the hilt. So there you go, I'm so happy to have this in the collection now, but I'm even happier that I bought something roughly about 15 or so years ago. That's my beautiful Master Replicas Luke Skywalker lightsaber. Not that I plan to get rid of it ever, but I hope I've got the box somewhere still. It might be up in the loft, up in the attic. But yeah, still here in all its glory. I'm glad I didn't get rid of it or bash it about too much. But it's a beautiful piece and you can tell the difference between the two. Between this one and this one right here. I mean, this is a beautiful piece, okay? But that one has some serious history behind it. And it's by Master Replicas. Come on, that on its own is a piece of legacy right there. Hold on. Just made it a little darker. Oh, 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 oh. Come on. Oh. Oh. I sense a battle is about to happen. <laughs> Actually, no. No battle is happening in my studio today. Okay, Darth Vader. You are beaten. It is useless to resist if you only knew the power of the dark side. Now, one thing I didn't show you was the very tip of this uh, Disney Store Darth Vader Legacy lightsaber. There it is. Let me just turn it on again. Remember, I've got full studio lights on at the moment, so let's have a look. Nice. <laughs> turn it off. 
Right, so let me just make sure it's got all the compliments of uh, sound and, you know, the effect when you uh, hit it against something and when you swing it, wield it. Thank you, that will do. So just before I end this video, let me just give you the quick spec on this beautiful piece right here. This beauty is complete with lights, of course, and the sound effects, and it's approximately 76 centimeters long, and that's just the blade. And overall, the entire length, more or less about 105 centimeters, uh, in and around 41 inches. Nice. So there you go, people. This is it. I bought this from the Disney Store in the UK. Now, of course, the Disney Store originates in America. So naturally, you'll get it over there as well. And I'm sure you can get these things worldwide. But as far as this Master Replicas one goes, yeah, good luck on that. Special collector's piece here. Very hard to get these days. And the price keeps going up and up and up and up. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. Gorgeous. I like this new one just as much.